Hello, welcome to Linux Help Tutorial. Uh, in this segment, we can see how to install NTP server. So, NTP stands for Network Time Protocol and it is an internet protocol used to synchronize the clocks of computers to some time reference. NTP is an internet standard protocol which is originally developed by the professor called David at the University of Delaware. Uh, we have many servers uh, which varies according to the country. Uh, these servers are handled mostly by the government and also some private organizations with the legal support of the government. So now we can see how to install and configure in CentOS 7 and also can check about synchronizing with Windows machine. So at first we need to install the NTP server in CentOS 7. Uh, for that I am using m install ntp. So now the NTP server is successfully installed in CentOS 7 and next we go for configuration. So for configuration the file is vim etc ntp.conf. So this is the basic configuration file of the NTP server. So in this configuration file you can see these four lines. Uh, we have to change these four lines according to our NTP server which is located in our country. So now I have to change these four lines according to my country. So for that we can take from the NTP's official site. So now go to applications and browser and here the official website for NTP is pool.ntp.org slash en. So this is the official website of NTP server. So there you can choose your country according to your wish. So here I am choosing Asia sorry and in Asia I can choose specific country that is India and this is the default India's NTP server so I am just copying these four lines and replacing these four lines here So after pasting these four lines, we can disable these four lines, that is default configurations. And next, we need to allow our clients from my, my network to synchronize time with this server. So for that, I need to enable this line. And we can check by we can check the errors in NTP server while synchronizing. Uh, for that, I need to specify the log file at last. So the log file's location is where log ntp.log. So I need to mention here log file space slash where slash log slash ntp.log. So this is the log file where the NTP servers error synchronizing sorry NTP servers synchronizing errors will be stored here. And at last save and quit the file and now we have to enable uh, the NTP server through firewall so what the command is firewall hyphen cmd I'm going to add a service called NTP and I'm making it permanent so it's success so now I'm going to reload the firewall and the reloading is also over and now we have to start and enable the NTP server so system CTL I'm going to start NTPD so now the NTPD service is started and now we have to enable the NTPD system CTL enable NTPD So now the service is also enabled and we can check the status through status NTPD. So you can see the service is running. 
So after the NTPD service has been started, wait for a few minutes for the server to synchronize time with its pool list servers. So then run the following command to check whether the NTP server piece the synchronization status of the server with our system. So the command is NTPD space hyphen P. Sorry, NTP Q. So there you can see the main NTPs that is our India's server and the time synchronized. So to check the time, date space hyphen capital R. So this is the exact time synchronized with the server. So you can check the time here over here. And also we can check, we can query and synchronize with the pool of servers which is listed here uh, by using the command called NTP date with single command. So here I have taken example as server2.asia.pool.ntp.org. So the command is NTP date and hyphen Q option with uh, two dot asia dot pool dot ntp dot org just copy this and place it over here so there you can see the status of this particular server and the time will be synchronized to this server so there you can see uh, the status uh, and also the particular time which is synchronized to this mentioned server since we have installed NTP and configured in this OS, so now it will act as a mini daemon server. So we can synchronize the server's time with Windows machine using NTP. So now I am changing the time uh, approximately in Windows machine. So change date and time. And once the password is given, uh, now I am changing the time to zero zero and I am setting this time so now the time changes to 12 so you can check the time over here so you can see the time is 12.34 so the IP here is 192.168.5.71 so to synchronize Windows machine to this CentOS so just right click go to adjust date and time and there go to internet time and just click change settings and there we need to mention here the service that is this IP and the IP is 192.168.5.71 and after setting the IP click update now it will take some time to update that is synchronized with this server So now you can see the clock was successfully synchronized. So now you can see the time changes to 12.35 and the time in server is also synchronized with the same time. Thus the NTP server is installed and configured in one operating system and also it's synchronized with the another operating system. Hope this video will be very useful in installing NTP server for you. Thanks for watching.